are changing. We're flying high, creating a complaint free world. No more, no more complaining people. Their lives are changing. We're flying high, creating a complaint free world. No more. Pleasure in the job puts perfection in the work. I wanted to say quite a bit more about that. I think David summarized it very, very well, and that is find something you love and you'll never work a day in your life. I have found people who have pursued and gone into jobs that ostensibly they loved and still managed not to enjoy them, to still manage to find what is wrong. And it all has to do with our perspective. It all has to do with what we think is important. I was watching this guy on Reddit the other day, and it was just a little five-second thing of this guy who works at a smoothie place. And one of the things the guy does, and I won't even attempt it because my hands will go off camera here, but he takes the smoothie in one pitcher and he goes up into the air and he pours it into this spiral as it lands into the cup and he never misses a drop. And one of the things it occurred to me when I saw this is number one, that is so cool. You would go to the smoothie place just because this guy has managed to create this little trick. I saw another one where um, in this looked like Chinese restaurant, they were serving what looked like a flaming platter or something like that. And the guy to light the platter came from behind his back with his hand on fire or with a glove and set, and set the whole thing on. And in both cases, it occurred to me, wow, these guys, first of all, they didn't get that right the first time. <laughs> They tried and they tried and they tried and they tried. And they both are in what some people would consider to be pretty menial jobs. One is making smoothies, the other is serving food in a restaurant. And a lot of people would interview for those jobs, train for those jobs. And and this is something that, that I've always tried to keep in mind, that Getting a job, we are always so excited. We think, oh, well, it's 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 almost like dating. I'm looking at this opportunity and this opportunity, and well, I really like this opportunity. Oh, good, that opportunity likes me too. And they bring me in and we talk, and I like them, and they like me, and they decide to hire me and everything like that. And then three to five years later, people are like, I hate this job. <laughs> And it's the same job. It it has not really changed. The thing is, we take with us everywhere we go. This is Plato, not uh, Aristotle, but we take with us everywhere we ourselves everywhere we go. And ultimately, the job becomes what we are. If we are happy, we are passionate, we are interesting, we are interested. Then like these guys, at the very least, we might design a new way to present something that people have ordered, or we may figure out something really, really cool that can make the place all that much better. One of the things that I know about jobs is that there's always an aspect that you don't really care for doing. It's sort of the price we get to pay to get to do the things that we really do enjoy. Yesterday, I was working all day, and I decided to go to the library to work. And I was working all day on a project. And it was a project that I really, really enjoy. And so I was working on it all day long and the day just went by. I forgot to get up and stretch. I forgot to get up and go to the restroom. (laughs) I forgot to get. And the thing about the library is that the chairs are wood. They're wooden chairs. I'm sitting in those hard wooden chairs and I sat there for hours. And the thing I know to be true is that this part of the things that I am working on is going to be excellent because I'm finding joy in it. I'm finding a way to experience the joy that I like because it's a creative thing that I'm working on. And when we find that joy, then we are able to find the energy, we are able to find the passion. Aristotle's quote, once again, cast Oh, that's the wrong one. That's an Al Newharth quote. Here we go. Pleasure in the job puts perfection in the work, 
And once again, the pleasure comes from us. I've worked in places, and I know you have too, where there are people who are doing their jobs and just actual, absolutely, not actually, but absolutely loving what they're doing. And there are people who are doing the exact same jobs under the exact same conditions and are hating it. Now, I'm not saying that if you're an underpaid Amazon employee, for example, or something like that, you don't try and improve things in your life. What I am saying is that each of us has an opportunity to look and to find the joy in what it is we get to do and to bring it to the work. One of the best things we can do, and and by work, I mean whatever it is you choose to spend your time doing. One of the great pleasures is focusing on what it is we do enjoy. And in that process, we find more things we enjoy and we tend to bring to the work a better attitude and also make things better for ourselves. So ask yourself, what is it that you little things for myself? Here's one. I'll give you an example. This is totally unwork related, but it's a very good example of what I'm talking about. We all have laundry to fold. My ex-wife used to say, after I'm done with the laundry, I going to do the laundry. There's always laundry, right? And like a lot of people, when my laundry comes out of the dryer, I throw it on the bed until I have time to fold it. And sometimes like attracts like, then I end up with more laundry to where it's like, okay, I've really got to fold the laundry. And I don't enjoy folding laundry. That is something I would love to have somebody else do for me is to fold my laundry. And I decided to try and find a way to make that fun. Now, Teddy loves to play. Teddy loves to wrestle. Teddy loves to play. So what I decided to do was now when I fold the laundry and when I make the bed, he jumps into the pile of laundry and starts burrowing through it. And I'm stacking the laundry on top of him and making noises like I'm attacking him ah, 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 like this. And he just loves it. He rolls upside down. He kicks his legs up. And then I fold a little bit of laundry and I throw you know, a pillowcase on his head and fold a little more laundry and I throw something else on him and wrestle his face a little bit. And I have made that into a fun time for both he and I. And yet it's one of those things that I don't necessarily enjoy doing. And I think that by making it fun, I'm actually doing a better job. I'm certainly giving it more attention overall. So once again, the quote is, pleasure in the job puts perfection in the work. We bring the pleasure. We bring the pleasure. It's a hard thing to remember. Yes, there are toxic environments. Yes, there are toxic work environments. Yes, there is toxicity in our own mind. But we are the ones who are responsible for bringing the healing. We are responsible for bringing the best and the brightest. Again, I'm going to send you to Ted Lasso. It was a, you could see that it was a very toxic environment. And then in comes a man to coach a team who literally does not even know the rules of the sport and is having to ask the umpires during the game, the rules. When he comes in, he brings the joy. And as a result, everyone else finds their joy all over again. So again, one last time, the quote is, Pleasure in the job puts perfection in the work. And this is your opportunity to click share. I'm going to select a song for us for the song of the day. And I wanted to do this on the spot. I've got this playlist of songs. And I think here's the challenge. Some of the ones I really want to do. By the way, type in share, Mary. You already clicked share. That is awesome. That is great. Thank you, Mary, very much. All right, this is going to be an interesting one. I'm going to type this one in. This is by somebody that I think we've listened to before. He's a DJ, and you're going to let you're going to know the song. Okay, Sarah, not the version of by Doris Day. You want to hear the version by a guy named Wax Taylor. Look up K. Sarah by Wax 
Taylor. It's just a fun song. Let me go back and see who else has shared. I see that Brittany Lynn has shared already. And uh, David's got a bunch of comments. I'll jump to the last one. If you love what you do, all of the goodness becomes experiential. Life becomes readily available and you radiate that goodness accordingly. Absolutely. Perspective is interesting, isn't it? Says Brittany Lynn. It reminds me of how growth mindset versus fixed mindset. This is something I like to think about often. Very good point. It's approaching yourself and your life from um, a growth mindset. Yes, it is approaching yourself and your life from a growth mindset, which is a positive mindset, which moves you in the direction that you want to go. Mary shared. That's awesome. Susan asked, is Ted Lasso only available on Apple TV? The answer, answer number one, yes. Answer number two, go buy an Apple TV. They're only like $49. Plug it into your TV, and then I think it's like like everybody else, nine bucks a month. But they've got some great shows. Another show on there that I really love is called Mythic Quest. My daughter and I were watching that. However, it is worth it just to buy Ted Lasso. I thought about buying these little Apple things just for my friends and family so they can watch the show. Linda says shared. Brittany says shared. Thank you so much. Once again, some Song of the day is K Sera by Wax Taylor. K Sera by Wax Taylor. We all whistle while working today. Keep positive. Yes, absolutely. We're all going to face challenges. We're all facing challenges. The more joy we bring to those challenges, the more acceptance, then the better things work out. And they always will. Workout, that is. Thanks, everybody, for joining me today. I look forward to being with you tomorrow. And I have not picked a quote for tomorrow, but I'll have a good one. See you then. No more, no more complaining people. Their lives are changing. We're flying high, creating a complaint free world. No more, no more complaining people. Their lives are changing. Flying high, creating a complaint-free world. No more, no more.